I'm getting pelted. Oh my God. Thick layer of sand. Huh. I'm totally exfoliated. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Jump in a Jeep and off-road a few hundred miles across Mongolia's Gobi Desert and you reach the Kongaran Ls, otherwise known as the Singing Sand Dunes, because, well, they sing. This is the most insane country I think I've ever been to. I mean, look at these huge sand dunes. It's like the height of the Empire State Building. It's amazing. For reals, these dunes are ginormous. Some are over 300 meters tall, which is serious skyscraper territory. I probably am not going to make it all the way up. I'm going to make a little bit up, not all the way. Apparently, camels can't even climb up this way. If they go up, it takes a really long time because they have to go super sideways. That's like an all-day shadangle. And then they get really, really bitter. And those camels are already pretty bitter. Only 30 places on the entire planet have the right conditions to play musical sand dunes but you have to climb all the way up to be serenaded. All right, halfway up. You can see all the way into China from here. Maybe not China, but at least inner Mongolia as opposed to outer where we are now. And then finally, the sand dune chorus serenaded me. Marco Polo described it as the sounds of all kinds of musical instruments and also of drums and the clash of arms. It felt like Rocky going up the steps. Did it. On the next Abroad Abroad, we head back to Australia to Kakadu National Park, where I swear those crocodiles are still after me.